Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm absolutely pumped right now because I've managed to get hold of a Streamflight 85 inch Turbo Bushmaster. I absolutely love these planes. I pinched this from one of my friends who's had it for a few years and had a lot of fun with it. I thought I'd go out flying with it, but unfortunately it's the UK, it's December and it's still raining hard and it's extremely windy. So we're back in the workshop. So what, instead of going flying, we are going to do a quick video on how to set up the ailerons and flaps to work together and also showing you a cheeky little mix that we've dialed in to stop the model ballooning when you engage the flaps. Sound good? Great, let's go for it. Okay guys, so let's start off by actually turning this model on and showing you the exact effect we're looking for and how it works. So that noise you can hear is just the servos chatting. Chattering, I think that's what it's called. A bit of, bit of a server noise. Um, so where are we? So I've got the my transmitter here, the T18SZ. I'll talk about that a little bit more shortly. Right now, if I move the ailerons, you used to see, as per normal, the aileron is working. If I engage the SA switch, you see one stage, two stage flaps coming in. Now, in fairness, we probably could use um, something called servo slow to slow down how that engages. That is quite violent at the moment. Um, I'll try and cover that towards the end of the video. It's something that's not set up on this model at the moment. But if you also turn around, or just focus towards the, the rear end, I'll see if I can swing you around a little bit, actually it might help, and zoom you in a little bit. There you go, that's probably better. If you just check out the elevator as I put the flap in, you see a little bit of down being applied and a little bit further when the flap's fully extended. And that is just enough on this particular model to stop it ballooning. Um, and then finally, if I flick the SB switch on the transmitter, which I'll show you in a minute, don't worry. You can see that it, there we go, it fully engages the flap to work with the ailerons. Turn it off, back to just short aileron or normal aileron, and then now making the flap work with the aileron. So that's what we're gonna cover today. So let me just recap that. First of all, we're gonna cover the uh, elevator being dialed in with the flaps to stop you ballooning. And we're gonna cover the full aileron working together. Now, a third little trick I am going to cover as well is if we go back to the flap coming on and you see the elevator moving, it's the fact that I've set up a dial here to be able to fine tune it in the air. You just see that the elevator's moving on the dial as well. And that allowed me to actually get this model set up perfectly um, to stop it blooming in the right amount while applying that flap. Now just a quick um, word on that before we go further. Obviously the faster you're going when you put the flaps in, the more the model's gonna balloon. So the idea is to not be going fast when you put the flaps in. The idea, whole idea of flaps is to slow the model down. So, you know, if you are going half throttle, put flaps in, no matter what mix you've got set up, it's gonna balloon massively. This is really designed to be running, you know, just really on tick over and then bringing those flaps in. Right, let's have a look at the transmitter. Okay, so let's start off by setting up the first mix, um, which is mixing the flaps in with the elevator. Let's go with my transmitter alarm. Okay, so a lot of this setting is done via the airplane menu. You've seen this on my previous tutorials. Um, so on this menu, if you come into here and you, you'll see a whole bunch of pre-mixes, Aeron's camber, Aeron's rudder, camber mixing, camber flap to elevator, rudder Aeron, etc. I think there's even some on the second page, no, there's not. If you if you don't see those, it could be because your wing type is set incorrectly. So this Turbo Bushmaster has four servos in the wing, or in the wings rather, uh, one for each aileron and one for each flap. So just make sure your wing type is set correctly. And by the way, that is back in the linkage menu, uh, model type, and then you've got your wing type here to set. Um, quick tip, 
don't change that once you've set up your model because you are at risk of losing some of your settings. I don't know if that was a bug, but it's definitely happened to a bug in the software rather. It's definitely happened to me before where I've played around this after the effect and it's wiped out a whole bunch of settings. So, but just make sure the wing type is correct. I'm not going to change that now. Okay, so airplane. Let's get back to put that mix in. So think about what we need to do. We want to do something when the flaps is applied. So therefore our primary are the flaps and our secondary is going to be the elevator. So when the flaps, the primary is applied, we want to do something with the elevator. So camera flap to elevator mix is what you want. And this is a mix that's built into transmitter already, uh, which is absolutely awesome. So let me talk you through the screen. So a similar graph that we've seen before when we've been setting up AFR, dual rates, etc. As I move, sorry, as I move the switch, you can see it changing positions. So flaps off, or no, sorry, full flaps, way through to, to flaps off. Um, but the trick here is to also set the RD switch. So the RD dial on this one is set up for the fine tuning section and it's just in rates in increment of 50s. So again, that's how you configure the switch. You've seen that before as well. But that's what allows me to fine tune the flaps. Oops, sorry, I've gone one step too far there. So if I dial this switch now, oh, come around this side, you should be able to see that it changes the line. So it's changing the mix. And it beeps when it's back in the center. And you can see quite easy. So that's what allows me to fine tune it in the air. So I've set up roughly where I thought it was going to be by applying the offsets. So you use the arrows to go to different points. So you can see the red dot, so the green dot has gone red now. And I can change the position and change change the rate. Or you go to the next point and you say position change and the rate amount has changed as well. Let's have a look at that on the model. I'll do my best to hold the sorry, I'll do my best to hold the transmitter in shot. Um, so flap switch is on SA. You can see we're on the, the red dot here at the moment. So position is just plus one hundred, so there's no flap applied. If I put it in the first position, I actually move the red dot to where the line is now. You can see that I've taken out the positions, so we've gone to zero. So that's the first part of flap applied. And then again, further down, move the dot along, negative 100. So basically just going from negative 100 all the way back through to positive 100 on the flat position. Move that a little bit closer to the screen so you can see it. See it there. The trick to remember to, it's where the red dot is where you're changing these settings. So move it first. And then that's, you can see, position is now zero. Move it again, position now at plus 100. But the green bar is corresponding to where the, the flap switch is. So change the switch. So it's easy to get confused by that. You sometimes think, oh, actually, I'm going to change in the middle there, start changing the settings, but actually changing the, the red dot up here instead. Um, so let's actually have a look at that working. And I'll, and I'll tweak some of these settings now. So I've got half flap applied. Let's check the elevator. You see the elevator has moved. So go for, let's go back from no flap applied to half flap. I've got a little bit of elevator in. If I wanted some more elevator, I'd go to the green dot by moving the red dot to it. That's moved now, and I'll change the offset. I wouldn't, I'll change. Hmm. One second, let me just check have a think about this. Hey guys, sorry about that, I'm back. I was getting myself confused there. Um, let's, let's reset that. So there's no flap applied at the moment. Uh, my switch is in the far up position, the green line here. My red dot is now lined up with that and you see I've got position plus 100, rate minus four. And it's the rate which controls the amount of elevator applied. So let's move the switch into the middle position, so half flap applied, but move the red dot as well. You can see this is sort of 65 or negative 65. So if I wanted a little bit less, I'll just change that 65, um, increase it. Just use a stick to do that. There we go. 
and you might be able to see just if I exaggerate that you can just see the elevator moving in the background but back to 65 and you see the graph moving as well so a little bit misleading because you have to remember to move the red dot and that's exactly what I forgot to do just a minute ago move the red dot again and move the switch at the same time as my recommendation you can see I'm now on negative 135 and that's the rate that this mix is applying to the elevator for us so the primary is the flaps the secondary is the elevator it's a good way around to think about it but these are two bits you want to play with my advice to you is just do one part at a time so just put get the flap back to the first position and play around with this one first and make sure you get that set right correctly first and then go and try it if that feels right then try it with more flaps of course you could be using your flaps on a slider so on the slide controls on the side of the transmitter that's absolutely fine as well if you are doing that just add more points in so you can simply go to it's hard for me to do at the moment but you actually just go in and add add a new point in. i can only remove them because i can't move to a gap where there isn't a point because i'm on a switch i hope that makes sense right so i hope that makes sense we've covered adding the dots in sorry we've covered changing the positions changing the rates top tip is to make sure you're looking focuses where the red dot is because that's what you're changing you're not changing where the, where the line is you're changing where the red dot is and then make sure that you've set the fine control up and then that will give you your dial at the top so you can fine tune the amount of mix the amount of elevator in this case that is mixing in during those flat positions okay let's look at the next thing so next we'll do something very similar which is to mix in the ailerons with the flap like so let's try that menu there you go so again the key word there is mix you want to mix in something primary which is the aileron to work with something secondary which is in this case the flap so let's jump on the transmitter and have a look right back over to the transmitter back into the aeroplane menu and again, we're going to use one of the pre-built-in program mixes. Um, I will just point out as well that you can do your own program mixes by going into program mix and playing around this section here. But why bother when you've got a whole bunch built in for you? So we said we want to make the ailerons, which is our primary, work with the flaps, which is also referred to as camber. So it's simply aileron to camber flap. So very similar looking screen. This time if we move the aileron stick, you can see it moving left and right, the bar is moving. But the trick here is just to simply go to page two, um, assign a switch, in this case I've got SB over the top left here, assigned. Make sure you set the switch as well. So mine is gonna be applied when it's on at the bottom. It's a three way switch, so I've got two off, so that's absolutely fine. And believe it or not, that is it. Pretty disappointing, yeah, making it so easy just to sign the switch over. But it's because the Futaba transmitter knows that this is a pre-built mix, it's, it's set that it knows what add-ons are, it knows what camera flaps are, so it knows it's gonna mi mix these two functions together to make it work. You can play around the rates, but I do all the rates and all set up in flight conditions, and I've covered that already on another video. I'll make sure that's linked below for you, and I'll try and put a card on top of this video at the moment so you can jump across to have a look at how I set up flight conditions to control everything within my AFR on a switch. You can change how the aircraft is, is set up in flight. But that's it, that's all you need to, need to use. Um, let's flip over to the model and have a look at that working. Okay guys, the model's on. You can see the transmitter at the moment, left, right, flaps aren't moving. Apply that mix to turn that mix on, which is set to the SP switch. You can now see that they're moving together. Got a lot of movement there, so I've got flight conditions set up. Let's turn this off of 3D and put it back into normal mode. And just slightly less movement. So super easy. So quick recap then. We did that by going into the model, into the airplane menu. From airplane menu, we used the pre-built-in program mix, which is aileron to camera flap. You can go and play your own program mixes but why bother when it's there already? And all we did is went to the second page and set the switch to SB. Click the switch, get it set. 
nice and easy. So that's it. Oh no, we're gonna have a look at seeing if we can bring those flaps in slowly, won't we? Because at the moment they're quite quite violent when they come in. It's probably gonna make the model jump quite a bit. So let's see if we can slow those servos down or slow that servo down. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you this just by holding the transmitter up because it's quite quick to set. So servo speed is set within the linkage menus. The idea here is to have the flap come in gradually when you flick the switch rather than violently. So go to linkage, go to servo speed, got flap and we've got flap two. I'm just gonna change one of them so you can see the difference. Um, I'm probably gonna dial in a little bit more than I would not normally. So I've dialed in 20. And uh, let's see the difference it makes on the model. Zoom in very slightly for you. You can just see both flaps there on that particular shot. Let's start, flick the switch. But watch this flap should move slower than the flap you can just see at the top of the screen. Much nicer. So let's get them both working the same way. Let's go to the other flap channel, flap function rather. Let's put that on 20 as well. And now let's flick the switch and watch them both come down gradually. Oh, very nice. I think we'll leave that set for next time we fly it. Yeah, so definitely take a look at that. Take a look at the server speed. Again, quick recap. Linkage menu, server speed, set the amount you want. I think you can also go the other direction. Let's, let's try that. Nope, beg your pardon, you can't. All you do is slow down. Yeah, it would make sense to speed up with it, thinking about it. Fair enough, always learning. Okay guys, so we are about done. Hopefully I'm gonna to get to keep hold of this Extreme Flight Bushmaster for a little bit longer and actually take it flying. Hopefully my mate Nick will forget about that. So shout out for Nick. Thank you very much, buddy, for lending us the plane today. Um, guys, it's pretty easy to set up. Give it a go. If you've got any questions, drop a comment in the bottom of this video and I'll do my best to respond to it for you. I'll leave it there. I'll just leave you a few clips of this bush up in the air. See you next time around. Cheers.